Okay, we're not even gonna talk about the elephant in the room. It's bad. <laughs> hey everyone, it is hey, me, Lama Sasha, and this should be a quick video. I'm going to show you guys how I open up my hair and the proper way you should be opening up your hair. Um, I'm going to be using some hair oil, which is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to moisten up the hands, the fingers, the little fingies. And you're supposed to go from the bottom all the way up to the root and then fluff it out. I'm going to be using an afro pick to gently fluff it out a bit. Essentially what I did for many years to get my hair so long is wash my hair with braids and keep my hair in braids, moisturize it uh, with oils, scalp oils, hair oil. Um, make sure you put it in the actual hair itself because that will help the hair to grow. The hair that is growing out on your head like this is dead, but if you don't keep it moisturized, it will snap and break off. Basic is kind of like knowledge that a lot of people don't really know, I believe. Uh, a lot of people like to focus on the scalp because, you know, the scalp is where the hair grows out from. But if you don't take care and protect the hair that is growing out of the scalp, then it will stop and break off from dry or damaged ends, whatever. Split ends. Trim your ends. Yeah, do that. Every few months at least. <laughs> So for hair oil that I'm going to be using to moisturize my hair and also get my hair to be more luscious and soft, I'm going to be going in with the TGIN or the Ting, the Tea Tree Oil Olive Oil Scalp Detoxifying Hair Scalp Serum. And this could go in the hair and in the scalp. And it's really good. It smells like tea tree oil. I like the smell of tea tree oil. So I'm just going to put a little bit in my hand. I say a little bit and I put a whole bunch. Um, don't know if you guys can see about me spilling. Okay, I'm just going to moisturize my hair, go gently down the hair shaft or down the hair. Um, I like to make sure I get my ends, especially because your ends are the weakest part, I believe, of your hair because it is the part of your hair that is dead the longest. Um, yeah, so that's what I heard. I don't know if that's true. Everyone's hair breaks at different points. Um, some people's hair breaks from the scalp uh, from due to stress, stuff like that. And you just want to gently take out the ends of the hair. So what I'm doing, I'm going in between the braids and I'm just taking them out where they want to come out. And this is essentially what I do, uh, especially when I do my makeup and I want to look really pretty and nice. I will take out my braids and essentially just wear out my hair. And this is what you guys probably seen over the years, how my hair looked. Um, many years ago, I used to do co-washing. I used to co-wash with the As I Am co-wash, which was really nice for my hair. I actually liked that a lot. And with the As I Am twisting coil butter, um, that shit is expensive. It's expensive. It's like $22 for a small bottle like that big. Um, something like that. My brother used to pay for it. Thank you, Gatsu, for paying for that for so many years. I appreciate you. My hair does too. I'm just taking out the braids. These braids have been in for a little bit over a week. And then what I like to do is just take apart the hair where it likes to come apart. Or just like kind of fluff it out a little bit. And then what I will do is grab a pick and just do this. Kind of like putting it in and then lifting up. And this will give the whole entire fullness uh, factor to the hair. Especially if you don't have that. That's what you want to do or try to do. I don't need to do that but it's nice because sometimes where the parts of my hair is parted it will pretty much like not work together like it will be a dip in where the braid was or where the part was so yeah that happens quite a bit um i'm gonna put a little bit more hair oil just put like a good amount in the palm of your hair i mean the palm of your hand and then i like to do this just basically making sure that i get the ends and i have a lot of new growth constantly which is why you see like a lot of frizziness or type of like shorter hair um that's new growth since i've been doing these youtube videos my hair has been breaking a lot more um not because of the products i've been using it's just because i've been wearing my hair out because i'm like it looks so good and it lasts close to a week 
I'm gonna wear that out as long as I can, which I need to not do that. <laughs> Which is why I kind of went back and reverted back to what my original schedule was. So I'll probably wear these braids out for like three days. And then I'll probably just braid back up my hair. Um, it doesn't do it for me, but my hair quality is different from everyone else's own. Obviously, there's going to be someone or like a million and five people that are going to have the same type of hair quality as me. Um, this is n probably closer to my natural hair quality. Um, when I was younger, I used to perm my hair a lot because society made me feel like my hair wasn't beautiful or it would just be more manageable and it changes the quality of your hair forever. I feel like I got it back to closer to being what my original hair quality was, but will I ever be able to know? I will not. <laughs> So with the oil still on my hand, I'm just going to go through and just do that. And I have like one hair strand that like came out. Um, yeah. I remember when I was a kid, I used to wear a lot of box braids, right? And they used to add in hair extensions, right? Like the weave-in hair, like the braid-in hair, um, before knotless braids were a thing. And they used to way down your head so much and sometimes it was unbearable because essentially it's just weighing on your actual natural hair and when your natural hair is being weighed on guess what it's going to start breaking so when you take out those braids typically at least in my case i can't speak for everyone obviously mary sue from alabama who <laughs> I'm sorry Mary Sue from Alabama, but Mary Sue from Alabama might not have the same issue as me. She might not lose uh, basically any hair, but when I was younger, it used to weigh down on our hair and I feel like a lot of people do these really cute hairstyles because they're easy, they're low maintenance and all this stuff and you go wear them for months, but at the same time, if they're weighing on your actual hair, depending on how it's installed, that is the biggest part. Depending on how it's installed, will determine if it actually will like damage the hair or pull on the hair too much to the point where it rips out hair essentially it's like a weight if a weight is weighing on something it's going to start giving away is that science i i think that's quick mouse like it's 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 you know think about it i don't know i'm gonna shut up now i'm really rambly <laughs> i'm in a rambly mood today And don't get me wrong, passion twists, all that are really cute. It just depends on how you install them, in my personal opinion. That's me. I like doing hair content, don't get me wrong. I really do enjoy it and I like it. But at the same time, I feel like wearing my hair out more has just changed the way that I've been dealing with my hair. Because for one, I'm the type of person, I don't really wear my hair out unless I want to look pretty. I'm lazy. Okay, keyword is the one that YouTube does not like and I will get demonetized even though I have no monetization um, for saying it. But yeah, uh, um, is a thing and you know, I don't really care to look like this to go out. I don't care to look like this to go grocery shopping and go get groceries and put on makeup and stuff like that. I have no makeup other than chapstick. But you see what I'm saying? I don't have that desire anymore. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to impress anyone. I'm not looking for a partner type of thing. Like, I'm not trying to be like, look at me. Ooh la la. Come for me. Come into my DMs. Light in my DMs? No. Do not do that. Ah! I think the fuck not. I don't know. It depends on how you approach me. I get some weird messages. I'm not gonna lie online. On Tumblr. Yes, I am on Tumblr. Do not look for me. You will not find me. I'm still on Tumblr. I've been on Tumblr for like 12 years. Going on 13 this year. In August. Ugh. Jeez. What a shame. Um. Yeah. People slide in my DMs all the time. And it's just. You're on Tumblr for one red flag. I'm on Tumblr, red flag. <laughs> if it's a red flag, 
flag for them? Why is it a red flag for me? I'm not like weird on Tumblr. I'm just artistic. You know, I feel like I'm using so much hair oil, but this hair oil is so nice. I'm not sponsored by anyone or anything. We have one more braid. Oh my god. What a short video. I told you it was going to be a short video. I'm just rambling today. If you guys don't know this, I ramble a lot. <laughs> Watch my Twitch stream. I ramble a lot. I'm currently playing Wild Hunt, which is a good game series so far that I like. I am also playing Final Fantasy XIV with my brothers. Um, yeah, it's fun. Come over to my Twitch, which is Lamusasho. It is twitch.tv Lamusasho. Planning on streaming a lot more. Um, yeah, life is happening and life is doing its thing and life is like, you know what? Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna, things are gonna change. Let me know what you guys think about me rambling like this. Is it funny to you? Because these are like the legit, the thoughts in my head. I have like, not even a thinking... <laughs> I don't even have like a second to think about it. It's just like, oh, this is my brain process. You guys are like looking into my brain right now and this is what's going on in it. Like I, I legit don't care. But yeah, this is typically how I do my hair for quite a few years now and I think it's nice. These are the type of curls that my mom loves my hair to look like because it's so full and bouncy. I mean, the edges over here are oh! disasterly. Like right here, the edge. Do you see that? Oh my god. I hope these braids in a little bit too long. But who cares? It's my hair, not yours. <laughs> so I'm going to put some of this in the, just like in my hair. You know, give it some of that shine, some of that moisture, some of that lacquer. That's not the right word, that's for like wood. This is a really good oil if you want your scalp to open up. So what you can do, you can put some, like a tiny amount, right? You see that? And then rub your tips of your fingers, right? And then just go into your scalp and do like this type of motion. Kind of like a squishy motion. I don't know. <laughs> squishy. <laughs> oh my God, that's so horrible. <laughs> but yeah, you just do that. And essentially you're going to open up like your hair follicles and stuff like that. Oh, it feels so good. You can also put some in your parts, all that stuff. That's probably what I should have done, but guess what? I didn't think that far ahead. I'm also going to put it on my edges because I care about my edges growing and growing in healthy and nice and my hair feels so good. And this oil does not leave your hair, in my opinion, to the opinionated channel, okay? <laughs> Um, in my opinion, it does not leave your hair oily or anything. Like, when I wear my, um, my bonnet, it's a silk bonnet. It's really nice. It's reversible. Um, it's really cute. Um, you can get it on Amazon. Yeah, I'll put a link to my bonnet <laughs> down below. And also on the screen, this is what it looks like. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to use the stock image that they have. But, um, it doesn't leave the bonnet, like, oily to me. Yeah, so these are the type of curls that my mom loves my hair to look like. They're very like wavy. They're not really curls in my opinion. Like I said, we're opinionated over here. Um, they're very much like wavy in my viewpoint from what I could tell. They're kind of wavy, um, but my mom calls them curls and she's like, oh, I love your hair when it looks like that because it typically gives me more length because you guys see my hair when I have a wash day or wash and go. Um, essentially it shrinks up here. Um, yeah, I have more length because my hair is not wet. I live in a very humid state in America, so it will shrink, but it won't shrink as bad as it usually does. Obviously humidity, my hair has high porosity, so my hair likes to soak up all the water. Soak it up like a sponge. Yes, we are making Monet exchanges. Soak it up reference once again. So soak it up. I will continue to do that till the day I no longer exist. <laughs> I lost this much hair. I don't know if people care. I lost that much hair. Yeah, it's it's very minimal. 
Um, typically, this is what I would do with my hair. I feel like the past two weeks at least, I feel like i just been kind of showing you guys my usual routine for years, which I might go back to for a little bit. So it might just be more makeup content. I don't know. Like I said, life is changing and things are happening and I should be streaming more and doing more YouTube content and putting more effort because working a full-time job and then editing and recording and all that stuff is very hectic. And yeah, I should be having more time to do that. And I hope you guys enjoy the content that will be coming to my channel. I am going to go and eat some food. I will see you guys next week. And I love you guys. And hopefully hey, I will see you guys listen. on my stream. Come visit me. Love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye-bye. I'm Mary Emily. Okay. We learned this today. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you.